Paper. Today, my friend Durvesh Bhagwat and myself, a Navin girl, are going to show few activities that will show properties of air. So let's begin. What is air? Air is basically a mixture of gases. Now take a deep breath in and out. What is the difference between the air you breathe in and out? When we breathe in, oxygen from the air is absorbed by our body. And when we breathe out, air rich in carbon dioxide is given out. As I mentioned earlier, air is a mixture of gases. It is 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen and 1% of carbon dioxide and other gases. So friends, you know, we all know air, we couldn't see air. It is everywhere. We can feel it when it blows. So let us start with our with properties of air. Material required. Two balloons, a bottle with a hole and another bottle without hole. Now fix and insert a balloon in a bottle without hole and try to inflate the balloon. It doesn't inflate. Now try with the another bottle having hole. It gets easily inflated. Why is it why it gets easily inflated because there is a hole so that air inside the bottle gets in, gets out and gives enough space for the balloon to increase in size. While in the first case there is no space for the air to escape so balloon doesn't get inflated. Have you observed the shape of air? Air doesn't have particular shape. It takes shape of any container which occupies it. This is the second property of air. Friends, today I, Disha, and I, Manaswini, are standing here to explain and demonstrate the working of human respiratory system. In this model, the opening of the straws represents the nostril, which is connected to a tube called windpipe. The windpipe branches into two bronchi, which enters into the pair of lungs. These two balloons represents the lungs. The big front balloon at the bottom of the jar represents the diaphragm. Now we will explain the working of lungs. As we know that breathing is a process in which oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. So it is a continuous process of inhalation and exhalation. So, we think that lungs play most important role in breathing, but the actual role is played by the diaphragm. And I will be explaining this question. You may have seen strips of light on the screen or a CD, but have you ever tried to understand the phenomena behind it? The phenomena behind it is known as dispersion. Dispersion is simply when white light is dispersed into seven subconstituents or the vibrion. Where the rainbow is a big spectrum across the sky or is also formed as dispersion. Can you please come? I will be proving dispersion with the help of a CD, white light and a scale. So first we will take a CD and put it in the wake of a white light. We can see that the spectrum is being formed. To prove it again, we need a scale. Please hold the scale. When we put the scale, when we put the light on the scale, we see that a mini rainbow is being formed. This also proves this version. Thank you. The, light, the world of light does not stop music, isn't it? Thank you. As we all know that light travels in a straight line, and today we are going to verify it by various materials like some chalk dust, mirror, and a laser light. First, collect some chalk dust from the blackboard and use a laser light but make sure that you don't point it at anyone as it can harm. First, we will hold the laser light and point it on the wall. Shriji, please come. And spray some chalk dust on it. Can we see that the light is traveling in a straight line and it is actually creating a trace path?
Can you see just one point is coming on the mirror but if we spray some chalk dust we can see the incident rays and the reflecting rays both. It wasn't it amazing and fun? This is how we can verify that the light travels in a straight line. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I am Ashwa and I am Sumedha. We are going to explain the difference in the sound due to the difference in the sizes of the air columns of different objects. So, when we hit the pots slightly with a metal rim, they produce different sounds which have different frequencies, meaning they have different pitches. This phenomenon takes place due to the difference in the sizes of the air columns of the pots. The source of any sound is a vibrating object. Almost any object can vibrate to create sound. Instruments such as the flute and the mouth organ use this phenomenon of vibrating standing waves within the air column of a pipe to create sound. The musician, however, cannot control the speed of the sound waves within the pipe. It can only be altered by the difference in the room temperature. This phenomenon is used by many other wind instruments. These organs are played by vibrating the lips and pressing them against the mouthpiece of the organ, hence creating sound.